Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Corey, and today I want to talk about something that really helped me personally, and that is um, Slim Fast. So I want to talk about my experience. Um, I have always shook on my weight. I'm not saying this diet's the best. This is not a sponsor in any way, shape, or form. It's just my experience. I'm going to go through the pros and the cons. I think this stuck with me because it was very strict. And for those who do not know what the Slim Fast plan is, you have two shakes, you can have any three meals you want, you know, you can have for lunch and dinner, um, any, like, mix it up, and then you have one 500 calorie meal. They suggest to have healthy, but sometimes I was kind of naughty and did a little healthy, half, you know, healthy and naughty. And um, then you get um, 300 calorie snacks. And I have done so many, like I said, and I'm gonna do a video on each of these, but I, I, I just remember that because of the strictness, it took me the mile. And I went from about 220, 220, 225, all the way down to 184, which is the lowest I've been in a long, long time. And yeah, I didn't stick with it, which I really regret because if I just kept, I could have gone the distance. The problem was I started slowing down as, as anything would you do long enough. But the first week I actually lost about like eight, nine pounds. And I remember that was like, whoa. They were like, okay, first week, yeah. But after the second, third week, I literally was losing about from six to four pounds on average. And then it really started to taper down at the end, like I said, which is why I kind of like lost whole one, two pounds, which is normal technically. But do keep in mind, the reason why I think I was losing weight so rapidly is because I pretended I was a healthy person. I was running, I was jumping, I was, you know, I was doing daily burn, I was doing um, spin gym. And no, these are not um, endorsed, but totally if you want to endorse me spin gym or um, daily burn, you can totally just hit me up, call me, text me, anyway. And I just remember that like I, I was a person I was never was. I hit the exercise from down here, which is me, literally, really I was down here because I was pretty much laying down to all the way up here, just like, and why did I just do Anyway, and it really, I think it paid off because I, for the average um, caloric intake of a Slim Fast, it's from 1,200 about. I'm sure if you go a little bit up, you know, a little, add a little extra, but that's the average when I calculated it. So think about it, you're actually, exerc I'm exercising like crazy. I'm doing, I'm consuming 1,200. I was definitely burning more than I was taking in and that is why. So if you're gonna do it, I recommend, if you can, cause it is hard. I pretty much fit it in every chance I got. Every time I, I had a few moments to do something, I was fitting it in. And if I had more, like I said, I was doing like a three hour walk. I want to say that they have the shake form, they have the powder form and they have a bar form, which they took away, but I noticed recently they brought it back. Uh, the shake form is way tastier. It's also way more convenient. You just open it up and you can drink it. When you do the uh, sh powder form like this, which I have, which is also much more cost effective because you get a whole thing like this, I think for 12 bucks. Whereas when you get the cases, they last you for, I'm going to say like two days and each of them are like five bucks. So you're getting a lot more, you know, you're getting a bigger bang for your buck with this, but they don't taste as yummy. And you have to add fat-free milk to it and stir it. And I found when you just stir it alone, it's always gonna be clumpy. Um, so I found if you either get like the ball for the fitness type shakes and you shake it in there, it actually gets it all, you know, actually uh, stirred. Or if you do it in a blender and you add some cubes to it. I um, also found they offer different versions. The older one, they do the SimFest Advance, which is what I'm doing because it's lower in sugar. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Of course, the lower in sugar doesn't taste as good as the older one. And they also sort of new one I haven't tried yet. I, I definitely want to try it out. It's the like, like caffeinated to give you more boost. Um, you also are gonna get um, very creative with 500 calories because when you get that one actual meal, you're gonna make a count. And I was so surprised to myself that I could actually have a kind of a mini feast for 500 calories. And last, lastly, I did notice because I was actually starting to feel better about two weeks in because I was cutting all the crap and just focusing on, yeah, again, I know people say the shakes are not super healthy, but I'm saying I'm cutting out all the greasy food and eating that. Of course, I'm going to feel better. <laughs> Things I didn't like about it was that they claim that it says right here, like everything that there is, um, well, watch me not find it now, four hour hunger control here. It says you can see four hour hunger control, but I found I was always hungry two hours later. It legitimately took me about a month and a half, I'm guessing because my stomach finally shrunk, to not be hungry all the time because legitimately you are thinking about food a lot. No, and there's a shitload of protein here. There's 20 grams of protein here, but I was still tired. 
And that's funny. I don't know if you're like me, but I always find protein never fills me. It's always carbohydrates. That's, that's, people say protein, but I always found never fills me. This is maybe just to me. And I also wanted to say that um, um, they need more flavors. And I feel like they offer vanilla, chocolate. Um, they offer caramel latte, which I am not so into like coffees, but that tasted like a yummy caramelly drink. And they offer, um, I think a new one I haven't tried because I really don't like coffee. It's coffee flavor. And then they have bars. Um, like I said, they got rid of it, but they brought it back. Um, when I did have the old ones, they were yummy. And they have, um, that's about it. And then they give suggestions on the website. You can, you know, um, do like mix it up, add different things to it. But then I feel like you're adding more calories and you kind of want to stay low in calories. So that kind of depletes a purpose. So I never did those. And the things I love about it was that it actually was getting nutrients. Yes, I know it is a lot um, better to get it naturally, but the truth is I wasn't getting it naturally and I finally was with this. You get like um, 24 vitamins and minerals in here. And I actually think that's why I was feeling better because I was actually getting the vitamins and minerals in my body. I was able to move more and not be so sleepy. And I also really loved that, you know, and this was not in the diet, this is a me thing, that I could take the day off eat like a fat fuck and still lose weight. And I think it's because your body kind of gets so used to it, but when you kind of throw it off whack and you're eating, you know, that junk food for a day and they just go back on, you lose. I actually found I, I didn't notice any difference when I took the day off. And this is me waiting like two weeks and then I would go and then take the day off. So um, that is my experience and I'm actually happy. I'm doing day number two so far, going back and I'm hoping I can stick to it. I wanna get skinny and look hot for the summer because they say beach bodies are made in the winter. Um, thanks guys, thank you so much. If you have any comments or any questions or what are your thoughts on SlimFast, please put it in the comments down below. Um, and if you like what you saw and would like to see more, please do feel free to like and subscribe down below. And also, please share, guys, if you liked it. Make sure to share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.